a note on Breaking Away. A wonderful, wonderful comedy. Um, for me, it's it's one of the best, and a pleasure to uh, to watch it uh, over the past few days. Uh, that's because um, it it was so good that it it was seen again in installments. Peter Yates is um, the author, I attempted to say, even if, uh, I'm sorry for this I, even if um, uh, there is an issue there in his wonderful book about uh, film, Adventures in the Screen Trade, uh, William Goldman, uh, not Golding, not, uh, we're not talking about uh, The Lord of the Flies here. Um, another masterpiece, but um, William Goldman says that he doesn't agree with the author, with the term author films, and in his opinion, and he has a point there, uh, Alfred Hitchcock, the great Hitchcock, uh, was affected by this worship of the author, the author films, and after he was called the ultimate author, the ultimate uh, creator of films, uh, he made films which were much less impressive. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it's, I'm laughing already, it's such a, a, a good film that uh, it makes you happy. Uh, by the way, studies uh, made in various places, one of which is Singapore, uh, show that <laughs> laughing quite a few times a day uh, boosts your happiness level but has also other implications. It's, it's like being on a stationary bike uh, and, or walking on the treadmill for quite some time. Amazing. Uh, from the start we have this young man who is in love with Italy. Buongiorno. Ciao bambini. Singing from Don Giovanni, from, from the Barber of Seville, La Son Pace. Uh, you don't see the cat, but there's also a cat roaming around, and they're interested in it. They're big enough so that she doesn't want to get to fight them. Even if, actually, I come to think of it, I don't think they're much, much bigger than a pigeon. But anyway, and pigeons, they they try and get cats. This one used to do that. The father is, is fabulous in this story. Um, <laughs> the actor plays magnificently. Uh, he, he, he is upset uh, with all things Italian. Eeny this, eeny that. <laughs> and he's of his, his son's obsession with, uh, with cycling and Noise, as he puts it, in the Italian opera, he doesn't like the father. And um, the food, this is it, the food. It's true, he has a heart condition, and his wife uh, points that out and says, The doctor said that, well, you should cut down on food, and then uh, I just presume bacon, other things. And. Uh, Ciao Papa, ciao Mama, arrivederci. <laughs> um, and um, the mother is also very happy with the fact that he is he's, he's looking much better now, the son. Well, the body might be fine, but the mind is gone, says the father. He's, as I said, single. He is a car salesman. And uh, even if the son is very, very uh, uh, good with him, Papa, numero uno, <laughs> um, the, 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 the parent is, is uh, way too cynical about it, but it makes for a very funny effect. 
uh, as I said, the actor is splendid in the role, ha having care, having paid excellent care to be in the funny zone, to be in the in the likable domain, without pushing it too far. He could have been uh, too uh, too mean, too um, aggressive, and cross the line to being an abusive father. It's not. It's not. Uh, he, he is concerned, and again, he's not too blasé, too careless as to appear uh, a negligent uh, parent. So I, I really love uh, this. Actor, I, I think I've seen him in another film, but I, I don't know very well about him. Uh, Dennis Quaid makes uh, an appearance here, and of course he becomes a, a, a famous actor. This is when he's very young; I think he's twenties or so. I didn't see the uh, the actor playing the title role further, but it's just that maybe I didn't see enough films. And. Uh, Yes, he, he meets a, a young girl, Catherine, who's Katarina, of course, of course. Signorina, you lost it. I'm Italian, so he lies about it, uh, which is not good. Uh, he also shaves his legs, so the father is flabbergasted. He comes from the bottom, he says to his wife, he's shaving. Yes, it's okay. He's shaving. His legs, <laughs> because the Italians do that. Uh, they am, they am man third, so everything it, Italian must be good. Uh, until, of course, the Italians do come to town and they behave miserably. Uh, and there's also a, a, a line when they talk among themselves, the, the, the boys. Uh, he mentions that he's shaving the, the legs, and one of them says, "But." Well, their women don't shave their legs. What do you do there? Um, so the father is a car salesman <laughs> who tries to be likable uh, using one of the uh, the principles established, explained in influenced by the amazing Robert Cialdini. Uh, but he is in awkward positions, and they're funny again. Once he's on the street and his son comes racing and just running a red light, or sort of, and comes in front of him, he's with a car, he has to stop, the car stops altogether, and buongiorno papa, of course, he pretends not to know him, <laughs> once and then again, later, uh, and um, the car doesn't stop again, doesn't start again. Well, I, this this car doesn't like premium premium gas. I must have uh, made a mistake and, and put uh, premium gas in it. Another time, when he finally hires uh, his son to work on on the lot, uh, a customer comes push comes with the car pushing it because obviously the car doesn't have drive anymore. Wait, 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 wait! What, what are you doing? And our father used cars salesman pushes it back. Well you you gave me a word. My word? Where? No, you, you gave me my word that it's it's you have a guarantee. Where is it? Do you have any paper with it? So funny as he is doesn't make for a role model depending on how you look at it. If you see the world as the place where you have to do anything and everything to survive, including being a cheat and well, maybe this is advice you one has to take. But if we believe in honesty, values, ethics, of course, that's very wrong. Anyway, the son interferes and says, Papa, if you gave him your word, who are you? <laughs> says our car salesman to his son. Who are you? Again, pretending not to know him. And refund, and he has a, a, a breakdown. He has to go to the hospital. Refund? The waking up from a... Not a coma exactly, but a state of denial, 
something similar, uh, crying out refund. Refund? Uh, there's no, he will, he will be bankrupted by, by the sun. So, um, he, uh, <laughs> he complains to his wife, who has also a funny line, what do we do with this, with this son? Uh, and she says, well, I, I suppose we can strangle him in his sleep. But he, she, she's joking, because he, she's always on, on, uh, on his side. He reads in a paper, our cyclist, he's a cyclist by the way, taking part in competitions, uh, a good many minutes are, uh, are occupied with a race at one point, a climax. I will not mention what happens, of course. But when he learns the Italians are coming, Grazie Padre, Santa Maria! <laughs> the Italian way. Only, only the Italians prove to be obnoxious. I will not again go into details. And he might have enough of that. Uh, this Fellini the cat, a, a, a point I, I, I failed to mention. Uh, even if again the father says this is this is Jake, you know your name is Jake, you're not Fellini, and I will not have any any food, fettuccine, uh, zucchini, anything like that. Uh, perhaps fortunately, perhaps fortunately, um, uh, the there's a shock with the Italians, and then uh, uh, the 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 young man is, is uh, awakened only to start after a while uh, having a fetish for the French. Bonjour!